Hello Planet Sewers and welcome to another video. So today we are making the Mandrill Habitat. It is going to be the outdoor play area. So it will be in two part video, part one on my channel and part two over at Beezy's channel. When I, he has completed the build, I will put the link in the description over to his the part two. So if you wanna go over there and look at that, you can. The final enclosure may be on the ha um maybe on the habitat i'm sorry <laughs> maybe on the workshop when it's completed for you guys to enjoy um i will also put on the glass panels that i've made um on the workshop so that you can use it yourself my inspiration for this build would be berlin zoo their mandrel habitat is breathtakingly stunning the rock work the moats um, just everything about it I just loved it and I couldn't recre recreate it I'm not very good at recreations so and I don't usually I don't really recreate anything on this channel I kind of look for some inspiration and I use certain parts of the buildings and I incorporate them into my own imagination and builds so we took the moat idea from Valenju and the outer class area which will be on Steam I like to give you guys something to download every time I, not, I upload a video so that will be up there and the enclosure if you do want the enclosure drop me a comment so so I know that that's something that me and Beasley should set up so that you guys can download and so right now I'm making a natural wall at first it was rocked the same aquatic indoor rocks that you get from the aquatic DLC it was all the way around and I broke it up and I made this dynamic wall and I thought that in real life the edges over here would possibly keep the animals from jumping on them and climbing up to the top and over onto the roof because I was going to make everything a cage and netting to make sure that the animals couldn't escape but then I thought it looks so good without netting on top of it. Why don't we just turn off the settings of the animals being able to escape? So that's also a tip, guys. If you didn't know already, which I didn't, um, you can turn off in settings to make sure your animals don't escape so that if you've got an amazing build and <laughs> the climbing frame is larger than I'd say maybe the roof and they could easily jump onto the roof and jump out which they possibly could hear then you can change that in your settings so um yeah that's that's what that's what happened and also half a roof does do wonders I didn't have to make any out, outdoor sort of areas where they can like hide and get shelter or anything it's all covered on under a half roof so in real life they would uh, use that for shade and raining and I suppose if the weather was that bad they would go inside um, to their play area but that's what we did here I did limit a lot of the flooring onto the garden kind of pieces the, oh, what was it called turf it's not turf mulch mulch yeah, that's where <laughs> mulch and um, none of it is like even and stuff like that but I, I don't think it would be in real life they would be walking on it all the time digging it up and playing with it so I didn't smooth it out too much I wanted to make it look as natural as possible and I added some sticks for them to play with right now I am building a kind of bridge going along to the next area the climbing frame isn't too big it's just a small outdoor area for them so it's just something for them to do it's um going to have enrichment items all the way on the top and on the bottom so that they can um realistically or make it look like they can play with the items some of the items are just going to be made from objects and shapes in planet Zoo because we don't have hanging balls that can be like attached to climbing frames so we just have to use our imagination and I will be adding that later. This over here is just something that they could possibly climb onto. I didn't have enough room to do it so what I did was I just got rid of it completely 
This would be another thing that they could play with. They could move it around with their arms to make different sounds, or they could just use it to swing on. And, and this is where I add the ball in there. So yeah, don't, you know, be creative. If you see a shape and you like the shape of it, use it. If it looks like a toy you could possibly make, over here are some rings that they could hang on to. Um, they could use it as a swing, they could move them up and down. It's just something that would be fun to primates. So, yes, that that's what it is here. And I'm making different colours because everything wouldn't be the same colour, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, most of this would be, the most of the things that I'm using would be in the prop area. So, in the prop area and Planet Zoo, go there and you'll find different shapes. And I am going to add some sleeping beds onto the areas um, where they can sleep and rest and I'm going to add feeders and sort of tiny bits of toys and stuff so yeah it's not it's not a whole bunch of things because I don't feel that you need to do that you know even with foliage and rock work we don't need all that for th some, some things to be complete so you just right now I'm just adding the trim onto the roof to make it to give it a nice kind of um area pop so it looks it doesn't just look completely empty like a bit of plastic on the on the wall so yeah these the extra details do mean a lot if you want your build to start looking amazing you need to start adding different stuff like this and i was taught that recently so i've been doing it so this is an electrical box. I didn't make the electrical box, but I did make the panel over the electrical box. And I made the billboard. Um, and I'm just closing it up to keep it safe from the weather. So guys, this is the real time area of the video. So where we can just look around briefly and see everything in its whole completion um i also have an update for you guys i won't be live streaming on youtube anymore i will be live streaming every friday at 6 p.m british standard time on twitch um that will be the link for that will be in the description so i just thought i'd give you that update and if you want future updates then please um Join the Discord below. That's where all the announcements and, and everything that I'm doing and the Fallen community is doing is right in that Discord. So yeah, I'm really excited to see part two. I'm sure you guys are as well. I'll put some things on the workshop and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.